Hey everyone, welcome back. Nice survival. Hey, first, before we get started, I'd like to thank all the new subscribers to the channel, whether you're new to uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, etc. I want to thank you for stopping by. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for joining the party. Um, before we get started again, um, this is going to be about a weapons light. I know YouTube's cracking down on anything gun related in terms of showing weapons, so the light's not going to be on any weapon or anything. It's just going to be uh, highlighting the light. This is not a paid promotion. I purchased these two lights myself uh, a while back. Um, to me, these are pretty much one of the best on the market, I guess, for the price. They are a little cheaper than most other lights. Um, this is the TW20, as you can see in the the header of the video. It's probably why you clicked on it. It's a TW20 review. Uh, this one I currently do not have on a weapon, so I still have it in the box. Um, currently, these go for $90 on Amazon. Uh, I picked up these. If you keep an eye on them, they go on sale every now and again, and... They go for quite a good price sometimes, um, sub $70 if you really uh, watch them. But uh, great light. Uh, there's a couple of things that I probably would have changed on it. This particular one is a, um, it's badged by Black Scout Survival. Um, I don't mind it, you know, being badged by him. I think it's kind of cool actually. Um, but this light is a 2500 it's 2532 lumens there is no high low the user interface is just on and off but the light is tiered so as the battery drains it uh it gets you know it drops down in the lumens um great beam pattern not super beamy it's a it's a wide pattern i'll show it to you here I don't like doing um, light tests. I've, I've said this before in my other videos. I don't like doing light tests outside because the cameras adjust to the brightness. So you really can't tell how bright the light is and how not bright the light is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the beam pattern here. So it's not super tight. It's almost the width of the whole wall. And that wall is probably about 10 feet away from me, maybe 12 feet. So it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty wide. Very, very bright light. This is the pressure switch for it. Half decent quality pressure switch. Um, I, I think that they're kind of all the same. All the different brands. I don't really see a variation between the different brands of pressure, pressure switches. Um, it has... You cannot take this mounting off. It's fixed to the light. It goes on by turning this, this screw in and it loosens up the jaws. And then you put it on your rail. Uh, one issue with this light that I do not like... Actually, there's two is the charging port is on the top of the light right there it is usb-c so it is updated to the current charging port but it's on the top so you need to have to take the light off where you have it mounted in order for you to charge it if it was on the side it would be you know you could just plug in on it and plug it into plug the cable into the light to charge it uh, another thing I do not like about the light, and there's always something that you're not going to like about a particular, particular light or anything, and that's, I think it goes across the board. Uh, the, comes with a through night 3100 milliamp hour battery. Comes with the light. This is a proprietary light, proprietary battery. And I believe it's proprietary. It makes you not be able to swap in a basic 18650 because of that plastic piece. Um, they do that because these are like high discharge batteries. And regular 
Regular 18650 batteries or not. I can't speak today for some reason. So, there's, that's two things. But, I mean, at least it's an 18650 size light and they didn't bump it up to a 2650. Which most companies are doing. They're going with the larger batteries. Good looking light. Comes in two colors. Comes in this bronze and black clear lens my dog's coming over here he's creating a fuss at the door good looking light i like the light it's not very heavy which is a plus it doesn't add too much to the to the rifle that you put it on I also have a through night, which I never did a review on. I have a through night light as well on another rifle that I meant to do a review on and I never did. But I actually like this one a little better. Actually. Good light. So if you're in the market for one, you know, I would pick one up. The, the, the Surefires are super expensive. Um, even the, uh, even some of the other ones are just really crazy. So it comes in a regular plain box, like all the through nights. But if you're in the market, guys, remember, like, and subscribe, share the channel. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.